business is booming. What is this? Adam Renton? It looks ugly. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to be a lotus? What a garbage lotus. Doesn't even have a trunk. Uh, greetings and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Ooh. I kind of want that. But I want to work towards the skyline first. So. Uh, I believe what we're doing now. Oh yeah, this is the third story mission. Katana Moon Mark 1. I got a bunch of cars already lined up. What is... What is wrong with your paint job? Boy, you need to be smacked. You need your license taken away, too. What's wrong with your car? This thing's supposed to be a Koenigsegg, but it's called a Hammerdahl Strato. Uh, so, let's see. Running gear problems. Suspension's rattling. Car is hard to control. Hmm. Loud when accelerating. Poor brake performance. Alright. I will test... Oh. I was going to say I will test everything, but then I see that you have a really garbage ABS model here. And there's also a uh, front sway bar B. That seems to be not doing too hot. Let's just go ahead and do everything. Because not only will this tell me if there's anything else that needs to be fixed, but it will also give me some experience points in the process. And I definitely needs it. Even though I'm level 9, I need one more level to be able to get the barn finds. On top of the fact that uh, I need more skill points to put into uh, renovating and repairing. It's pretty much all that I'm working towards right now. It's just being able to do the barn finds. But I do still need to have the repair skills up and running because any parts that I gain, I have no idea of whether or not I can repair them or not. Because for some dumb reason, someone decided to label everything in groups, rather than just saying engine, suspension, body, glass, ECU, interior, which it does anyways. It lists all that stuff with uh, when trying to buy parts. ABS module is dead. I mean, it also lists the body parts when it comes to renovating, when it comes to fixing up the parts themselves. Literally, the last skill to obtain allows you to fix body parts. You could have just done that with all the other parts, too. But, nope. It had to be overly complicated by being lazy and only calling it group 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I want to try that break thing. I forgot that I bought that and I haven't really used it yet. Alright, so what all is still wrong with you that I have not found out? So, any running gear problems? So, rubber bushing? I'm assuming the other one's probably going to be a small rubber bushing. And we have wheel hub bearing. Uh, I went accelerating. Well, that's definitely your exhaust. I can't believe you would color any supercar Dookie Brown. 
And then on top of that, for some dumb reason, you got mint, uh, mint accent for some of your parts. That really makes me want to vomit. Just gonna charge the battery just because reasons. Give me that module. If anyone hasn't noticed yet, I have gained quite a bit of money. Not a lot, but I have gained quite a bit since the last session. And the reason for that is, once again, I had a problem with running out of money. Trying to repair a car. And I kind of wish I had recorded it, but at the same time, it was a massive headache. Because it took me like three hours to get it done. Mostly because this idiot decided that he needed to have his car fixed. And not just, you know, a few parts. I had to tear apart the whole engine block in order to fix it. And most of those parts I couldn't repair, so I had to buy new ones. And I basically went broke trying to buy all the new ones. Because of course I did. Because engine blocks, surprisingly enough, are expensive. Frickin' yoinked out nearly $5,000 of my hard-earned savings. But then, you know, surprise, surprise, after I did all the things necessary to, to fix that car, I ended up... No, I have to go to the other side now. Let's go over here. Let's check this. But after repairing that car... So I think I spent like a maximum of $7,000 trying to repair that car. And then after spending all that money, he gave me like 30000 And I was just like, oh, well, okay then. You know, I'm not as mad as I once was, but I'm still pissed. Because how freaking dare you roll up into my shop and make me waste $7,000 of my money. Like, yeah, you gave me back way more than what I spent, but still. This kind of bothers me. Checking the rubber bushings to see if any of them are bad. Doesn't look like it. This way is fine. Everything else is fine. There's probably more on this side that needs to be fixed. I see the exhaust manifold that needs to... How am I able to reach that? I should not be able to reach that from the tire. No, yeah, whatever. I need this. Cause I need the rubber bushings in it. Well, at least one of them anyways. So it doesn't seem like anything else is wrong there. Well, I see your shock absorber cap is not doing too good. I will take both of them. Apparently they're both busted. You don't know how to take care of your car. And that makes you a dumb. Not really seeing anything else wrong with that. Double check this side. Now your caliper needs to go. I need more fast paws. But I'm saving up my skill points at the moment for more repair skills. Is there anything else? In there. Wheel hub bearings are all good. Okay. I 
think the only thing that oh, that part of the exhaust is uh, also bad. Okay. Lower that. Oh, this gives me a chance to try out the brake thing. I don't need anything there. Give me your exhaust. It's broken. It's too loud. It's against regulations. I'm gonna get pulled over for it. I'm gonna get yelled at by Karens driving in their neighborhood. Yeah, you probably wouldn't care about that, but whatever. I don't think anybody would care about that. Alright, so we found everything. I'm gonna see what I can repair. Give me your battery. Because that's definitely fully charged by now. Oh, I can fix the brake caliper. Let's do that. Rather than having to buy a new one. Cha ching! Uh. Do it one more time. There you go. Now you got a 100% brake caliper. Go ahead and even out everything else. Because why not? Let's be a good mechanic. Even though you are a terrible car owner with your dookie brown and mint green car. Brick lace. Alright. 21%. Whoa! Sparks! That's dangerous! Might start a forest fire. Hmm. I like the way it goes from rust to clean. That was sick. Dude, that's nice. I need more bad breaks just so that way I can throw them on there. Do that again. That's amazing. It takes forever, though. How does that even work? That's just strange. Alright, well, anyways. Uh, let's see, the ABS module we definitely need. Add that to the list. Uh, caliper. You had a dead caliper. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna actually have to buy that then, because I can't, uh... can't repair a broken one, apparently. No! It's 11% and I can't repair that? Well, I think in the other game, it's like, I believe at 15% or below 15%, I'm not sure which one. Uh... You're not allowed to repair things. Oh, I need to... Pull these apart. Uh, I think I just need to pull these ones, the rears. Which is kind of a shame, but I guess, you know, there has to be a limit to what you can and can't do. And it's like at 15% or below, uh, the part's just broken at that point. And there's, there's no coming back. You need something new. Otherwise, you know, trying to repair it would just be a waste of time and probably money. So, I already got that. Did I get the... Yeah, I will just clear the whole thing. Start fresh. So, oh, we need module, caliper, another break disc. Way bar. Whoop. A bearing. Uh. Pad. Yeah, I'm gonna need pad. Just one though. Rubber bushing. Two shock absorbers. Two manifolds. Ah, skunk in my eye. No! I can't see! It's terrible! I'm blinded. 
by the stupidity of this car. Everything about it is wrong. Anyways. Shopping list. ABS modules can be in electronics, so we're not going to worry about that. Two of those. Two of those. Grabbing everything. Can ABS back front? Hit the wrong button to back out. ABS is here. We're done with that. Shiny exhaust back on. I think the idea for what I'm going to do today is try and get through these random customers that have shown up. Too long, and then we'll do the main story mission. Customer, uh, oh, yeah, it's gonna have to be this one because this is a bigger tire. You got a different proportion. Can't throw the smaller one to the rear because that will just make everything awkward. I forgot to put those together. What? Weird. I thought I'd hit the uh, remove part button. Okay. Jam that back in there. Is there anything else back here that I need to fix? I don't think so. But the uh, brand spanking new ventilated. Break the specs on there with the brand new brake pads. Oh, I forgot to give her back her battery. My bad. Now I can just jam it through the the fender here. It'll be fine. Don't mind the gap. In the body part. Just had to push a massive battery through there. Because I didn't want to lift the hood back up. That should be the last piece. Yep, that's all done. Alright, now get out of here, you bother me.
and freaking actually add a dookie brown car. I will never get over that. I will shame you forever with that. Like, there are some cars that can look good in brown, but that was not one of them. And at the same time, you gave it mint green accent. Shame on you. Absolutely disgrace and dishonor on your family. Hey, he's back. Yeah. I just fixed your car and you decided to ruin everything. I'm going to decline that order because you're dumb. Take the main story mission. Ugh. I'm gonna go wash your car. Free of charge. Because of reasons. Oh. Look how pretty she is. All she needed was a wash. Oh, nice and sparkly again. Brand new like she came off the showroom floor. Very nice. Alright, well, anyways. We'll deal with that later. I wonder if that was actually one of the things I had to do. <laughs> it's like, hey, you got a car wash. Can I have you wash my car? <laughs> Such a random thing for a mechanic to have. But I mean, if I was a mechanic, like an actual mechanic in real life, I definitely would do that. I would have just a little spot off to the side where you can hose down the car and just pay for your time and the water that you use. There is a lot that's kind of having problems. Has no power. So the car can't start. Go to the test track. Wrong car. Well, engine can't be started. Okay, well, the uh, the story car has problems. Engine can't be started. Alright. So, what have you done for you to deserve the title of stupid? Hmm. The fuel rail is not working. That's, uh, kind of a bad thing. That means you're not getting fuel in your car, and therefore you're not starting it, and then you're not going to be able to drive it anyway, obviously. Rock arm is busted. That's, uh, that's a deep engine repair. Crankshaft busted. Yikes. I have found another person where I have to tear apart their car. I can actually see the crankshaft over there. But the rocker arm, that's in the... Uh, that's in the cams. Or near the cams, I should say. That's uh, pretty deep into the engine. I'm gonna have to tear apart your block. Also, I can see your air filter cover is actually broken. Just fast staring at it. Cause superpowers. Okay. Um, well, might as well check everything else. Looks like your throttle is actually not doing too good either. I don't think nothing in the electronics section is doing too bad. A couple of your relays are below 80. Nothing there is a problem. Okay. Well, that's a lot of problems. I missed one of them, but I saw ignition coils. There's two ignition coils that are not doing too well. Third ignition coil is not doing too well. 
In fact, it's dead. Four ignition coils. That's probably another reason as to why your car is, uh, not starting. Because it's not sparking. So even if it had fuel in there, it wouldn't be able to ignite it. That's a yikes. Check your tires for no reason. Tires are good. Okay. So, you is big dumb. Now I have to tear apart your engine. even managed to do that kind of damage. You probably redlined it, didn't you? Absolute idiot. That is a lot of parts that are rocking around in the engine. How is it rocking around in the engine, but the engine can't start? I kind of question that. Maybe that was the last thing that he heard before it died? Ugh. That's definitely not good. Engine has no power, so I'm missing a few things. So the battery's fine. There's nothing in the fuse box that was a problem. In our case. Ooh, it's literally just the engine. And unfortunately, I don't have that thing to prop up an engine. Probably should, actually. How much is that? Engine tool. 2k? I absolutely need that. Might as well. Uh, welder to your right extent service includes full body repairs. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll have to do that later. Oh, it's over here. Hiding behind the bus. Or I should say the bus is hiding it. Screw you, bus. Trying to hide stuff from me. Uh. Well, in order to get it out of there. We're gonna have to get rid of the gearbox. You, come with me. And in order to get to the gearbox, we're gonna have to take off the tires. Oh, you know what? I should probably go ahead and drain it. As a precaution. Out of here, you bother me. Well, that's not good. The power string pump's busted. I don't think that was listed. I have found a new thing to to scream about. Yell at the man for. Starter. Move the gearbox. Let's go ahead and remove all the clutch stuff as well. Even though in the last game it let me take the engine off with all the clutch stuff on it. I'm not sure if this one will have a problem with it. You never know. Uh, probably don't need to take off the exhaust, but we'll see. If it has any complaints. I can barely look over the back of this car to get into the engine. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to drain the coolant and the power steering. Because the moment I pull that engine off, everything's just gonna fall apart. Do I need to drain anything else? I don't think so. Alright, yoink it. Pull out engine. Um, I'm holding an engine now. Mm. Ah, there we go. That's the thing that I was looking for. The engine stand. All engine on stand. What all is wrong with this thing? Besides the fact that, uh, the media red line did. way easier to work on the engines when they're on the stand. So, throttle's busted. Uh, where are the rollers? There they are. We're looking for a specific roller to remove all this. Fuel rail's gone. I don't need to tear apart the block completely. I don't think. I just need to find out where those rocker arms are. Because none of the pistons are damaged. There's one of them. How many... There's two of them that are damaged, so I have to go to the other side. Fantastic! Ah, oh, I've always hated this. The dual overhead cam design with all the tiny bits and pieces that you have to individually take apart. Ugh. That's annoying. Back plugs are all good. Very clean, smooth supercharger you got going on there. There's the other rocker arm. I don't think it required me to take out any of the rods, did it? I really wish I could check the... The list... From here, but nope. I need to get rid of the water pump in order to get to that. Did I really just need to pull off the water pump just so that way I could get to the belt of the crankshaft? That seems a little unnecessary. But okay. Idle roller, power steering pump, rocker arm. Valve push rod. So, a couple of those rods are busted. And I gotta find them. Frick. Um...
Not that one. Not that one. I would assume that they would be highlighted in red. Or the ones that are actually damaged. That or I'd see them all grungy looking. I do not want to have to actually pull these things out one at a time just to figure out which one it is. But it's not showing me anything. That one's 88%. Are you actually freaking kidding me? I have to tear apart the whole thing. That's annoying. No, it wasn't that one. Nope. Okay, so I think I see which ones are the bad ones. That one's a little grungy looking. Yeah, it's that one. That one's kind of shiny. It says there's three of them though, so I need to find one that's a bit grungy looking. First, those all look shiny. I'll just yoink it anyways. 80%. 86. Ninety. Come on. It knows that the valve push rod is bad. But it's not telling me which one it is until I actually pull it out the engine, which is kinda dumb. I should be able to tell which one it is. Now that they've highlighted all of them. There it is, there's the last one. Let's go ahead and throw all these good ones back in there. There. We don't need that side anyways. The left side is tarnished. The right side is always better, because it's right. That doesn't make any sense. I still can't believe you made me pull out every single one of these rods just to figure out which ones were the bad ones. I should have already known, since it listed three of them, oh and normally once they list the item, I should be able to just see it either by plainly looking at it, or by hovering over it with the cursor and it saying, yep, that's the bad one. But no, it decided to be stingy and lazy. Okay, so I'll take those other three. We'll put the ignition coils back on there. That way she'll be set and ready to go. Yeah, I didn't think I needed to take that off. Something was awkward there. Don't know why. Okay, that's bad. Those are all bad, and that's bad. Okay, everything else that's off the engine is bad. So 
So there's still one part that's undiscovered. Weird. No, it's not any of the pistons. I checked all that. Hmm. Knocking noise coming from engine bay. Oh yeah, the air filter. I forgot about that. Give me the air filter. But for some reason, it didn't actually uh, mark this. But I can tell with all that tar that's stuck on it that it is bad. And somehow your air filter is good though. Okay. So we got all that. Got all that. Okay. Let's see what we can repair before we decide to attempt anything. Well, I cannot repair anything other than the starter. That's unfortunate. Uh, that's nothing. Dock, okay, so... Throttle. All this nonsense. Throttle, idle roller, ignition coils. Let's go with the ignition coils first. We need four of those. The oil? Okay, so that's not in here. Good to know. Whoops. I need air filter cover. Accidentally deleted that. How many of those did I need? Two. Fuel rail. Wow, the fuel rail is expensive. stuff back in there. This would have been a little bit faster if I could figure out which of these push rods were actually bad without having to tear them all out. back on there. Ow, frick! I didn't get the crankshaft fully. Are you kidding me? How did I not mark that?
Where is it? Uh, is it V8 or V8 overhead? Frick. Regular V8. Attach some of the uh, clutch stuff. Might as well. That also confirms the theory that, yet, they will continue to let me attach the clutch stuff onto the main engine. Alrighty. Okay, part mount. Uh, you have to click on the stand, of course. Take engine off. I'll just casually carry that back to the car. No big deal. Anybody can carry a 500 pound engine if they just believe. Don't do that, that'll actually hurt. That'll cause a lot of problems. Okay, send you to the hospital. You don't want that. Also, I just realized the ignition coils don't have like actual coils going into the spark plugs this time around for the dual overhead cam. Just kind of have the spark plugs exposed. Weird. Okay. to fill the engine because we drained it just before ripping it off the car. Yeah, you can get out of here. You're bothering me. without it. Hence the name. Could also just call it an igniter. Oh no! Oh no! The 
crankshaft. And then there's two parts undiscovered. That's not good at all. I did all that and I put it all back together just to find that there's still something wrong with it. I'm gonna have to tear it apart again. But you know what, we're gonna move you outside because at that point, I don't wanna have to waste more time dealing with that car. I got a story mission car to deal with. I'll do that. I'll finish that car up in the background. Because, yikes. Alright, so we won. Hello, I saw that you've got quite good reviews, and I thought that you'll surely handle my problem. Uh, no. Well, okay then. I've been to a few experts already. The things that each expert said and did, scroll, didn't match up at all. Of course, the problem is still there. It boils down to this consistent banging. It's unbearable. And the gearbox isn't working properly after the last repair, air quotes. After a week, changing gear became a nightmare. Uh, please check it and try to fix any problems. Counting on your honesty. It's the last chance for my car. This doesn't do the trick. I'll have no other option but to get rid of it. Anyway, let me know what happens. I mean, you could just give it to me. I don't mind having a free car. Actually, I don't think anybody would mind having a free car. So, something's wrong with your gearbox. Oh, you got so much problems. You're just as bad as the, uh... What do you call it? That Corvette Outback. So you say something's wrong with your gearbox, huh? No, the gearbox itself isn't a problem. Your drivetrain is a problem, though. You also have something wrong with your front sway bar. The engine block actually doesn't look good. It's kind of blacked out grungy, which implies that it, uh, might be broken. It's usually the game's way of telling the player, hey, this part is bad. Yeah, compared to the, f you know, the timing cover here. You know, if you look, move over the camera. Yeah, if you look closely, this whole area that's black. Uh, unfortunately, by this game's standards, that's bad. That's a bad. So both the engine head and the engine block are busted. So something wrong with your car. And it's everything. Can we take it out to the test track? Oh wait, no, it can't start. I forgot. That was the, uh, the issue that we had. So the car can't start. Something wrong with the gearbox. Suspension system's busted. A whole lot of problems. Moon. You should have painted this black to call it Nightmare Moon. That's an ugly car. It wouldn't have fit the name anyways. So, can I do anything to actually test what's wrong with it? I'm super upset that the crankshaft was the thing that I missed in the last car. But I do not want to tear that whole thing apart again in this session. I can do that some other time. It's already late as it is with my recording. Spend all my time camshaft pissing with Conrad. I have to tear this whole engine apart too! Uh Why do you people keep breaking your engines? Seriously. Yeah, 
was spending most of my time trying to make a track in another game. Now that I finally finished the track, after testing and retesting it a hundred times, I uh, confidently say that I don't need to work on it anymore. But man, did it eat up a lot of time. Okay, so still a hundred things wrong with it. Uh, I think at this point we might as well just uh, we have to literally tear the engine apart. Check each and every single piece that's wrong with it. Is this thing all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive? All-wheel drive. Or, no. Other way. Other way around. It's front-wheel. There is no drivetrain going to the rear. bar is bad. I think for the most part I just want to see about getting the engine fixed so that way I can start it up and then I can send it to the test track. Where's the starter? Oh frick! Doing it again, where I have to go into the engine bay to get the starter, then go back underneath the car just to rip out the gearbox. I'll throw this under there. Needs to do this anyways. I just want to be absolutely sure that nothing's going to happen when I decide to rip this thing out. I don't need to do that. I just need to make sure that the engine's able to be pulled out of the car. That is a tiny engine. My gosh, compared to the dual overhead cam that we had not too long ago, that might as well not even be considered an engine. Ah, uh, 69%? Yes. I don't need to charge that battery at all. Also, I just realized I didn't need to drain the power steering or the coolant ripping out the engine. But I probably will have to take out the radiator. Uh, 
the oak filter is fine. Everything else is fine. It's just my sanity that's wrong. And I can't fix any of those. I mean, I could, but it's not the ones that I wanted to fix. Now me and the mad scientist gotta rip apart the block and replace the piston rings you fried. I didn't have to go individually with each ignition coil. Kind of wish they just come out all at once. I mean, I understand I want for semi realism. But in some places, in some cases, it's just like, just let me have all of them all at once. Like the spark plugs and the ignition coils. Maybe even all the, the valve rods. Like having to remove and insert each and every single one of those tiny pieces. It gets a little monotonous and uh, irritating. Camshaft caps is another thing. Like it should just highlight all of them. Get them all done all at once. They can still list them as uh, each individual piece. I would just prefer that when I'm unbolting and bolting that I can get it all done all at once. Give me the throttle. Massive bolt. I like how that's supposed to be WD-40, but then they call it DW-04. They just completely wrote it backwards. Obviously for copyright reasons, but it's funny. Cam gear was busted! Oh, I can't get that. I took the fuel filter with me? I mean, I know it connects to the engine, but really? Just kind of floating there. That happened in the last game too. I don't know why that's the part that they just let float there. It needs to be connected to something. But okay. Uh, we're gonna have to take that off. And this. Rotate. Oh, look at all the problems that are occurred here. Yeah, you actually fried your pistons. Oh, that's ugly. Maybe not that one. But the block is still busted, so... I have to pull this out regardless. Got my way, WD-40. Man, those things are charcoal black. I don't think those are metal anymore. like everything underneath. Also, I don't remember being able to rotate without zooming out. 
I think they added that convenience feature from 2018, which is nice. Let's go press that I have to remove and insert valve rods individually. I will never get over that. I will never not complain about it. It's annoying. Do it all at once. Even if you animate them being inserted one at a time. I want to do it all at once. I didn't even realize those are fuel injectors there. I thought that was part of the block. Give me the cam gear. And there goes the block. the block head. Now we can finally take out the crankshaft and the engine block itself. Well, surprisingly, the engine block itself is actually in decent condition. I like how the only thing that's left is just a, a, a floating fuel filter. That's hilarious. Is there anything that I can repair? No. If I had the upgrade for it, I could repair the throttle, the fuel rail, the gearbox parts, pretty much everything. But no, I need to upgrade. Yet again. I have no brakes to, to fix. All right, so what all is the problem? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen more parts that are causing problems in this car. I believe all of those are the suspension though. So at that point, Let's just fix the engine so that way we can go run it on the test track. Because that is unacceptable. Uh, where do we start? There's the rocker arms, yada yadas. Okay, so here we go. We start here. So the front drive shaft. Need to make sure that my shopping list is clear. Good. It is. Ignition coil. Ignition coil. Two spark plugs. Timing chain. Oh my gosh. All your crankshaft bearing caps are bad. Surprisingly, the piston rings are okay. Alright. I want to double check to make absolutely sure that I got everything for this car. Power steering pump. Yeah, that one's bad. We're in inline four. I didn't take off the air cover for this one, I don't think. No. Okay, 
Camshaft is expensive. And so was the flywheel. My gosh. 500 bucks. The clutch is less expensive and that brakes easier. You have to repair that more often. You think that would actually be more expensive. Supply and demand and all that. That's probably easy to make those things. Who knows? Well, oh, wrong area for spark plugs. How many of those do I need? Two? I need two of the other one as well. Alright. Put everything back together now. Just like the annoying jigsaw puzzle that it is. One good piston, that's two good pistons. And then that's a semi good one. It's all nice and semi shiny. I really thought the block itself would actually be damaged with how dark it is. Kinda like how the uh, the pistons themselves were just black. But whatever. As long as it works. Whoop. And it's upside down. Ah, it's in my face! Ghost of parts yet to come. Or yet to be installed. Hmm. I didn't need the pump because apparently I already had one in my inventory. Weird. Not sure how that happened. fuel injectors go. Oh wait, on level 10 that means we can go do the barn find! Unfortunately that's gonna have to wait because I really do have to go fix that Corvette because uh, I don't know what's wrong with it and I hate that I had to tear apart the engine only to find out that uh something deep within the engine is still broken after putting it all back together that really upsets me so that's gonna have to be done first and foremost before I go and do the barn find because I will not leave that car just sitting there taking up a spot I got things to do missions to complete more levels to gain Money.
you spark plugs. Why you gotta be down there? anything but I mean I actually tore about this one compared to the last one I didn't get down to the, the crankshaft because I didn't think the crankshaft was one of the parts that was broken well, this time I decided to just go for everything just to be absolutely sure have it all listed and that way the game can't sit there and tell me oh yeah you know, the oil pan is uh, bad even though you just took it off and put it back on yeah it's bad we didn't tell you it before. It's like, oh, great, thanks. Oh no, that one piston, that one 60% piston, it's gotta go. It's like, no, it. I, I'm pretty sure I can hold 50% on this car. Yes, they're in lie to me game. But that looks like everything. Stand, take that engine off. Let's carry that 500 pound dead weight with me. Easy. Alright. Front drive shaft is still busted, which, you know, it's fine. Spark plug? One of the spark plugs? Bruh. Which? Parts require 72%. So, a spark plug and a rod cap. Well, at least I can get to those. I don't have to tear about the engine completely, but I need to figure out... Okay, so that one's at 72. That's 100. That's 100. 70. Well, one of these two spark plugs is bad, apparently. And since you're being a whiny little bitch, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy both of them. How frickin' dare you waste my time demanding that your car be 72% good when it came in at 50% terrible. That is 100% your fault, and you're just going to have to deal with it. You come back when those spark plugs have actually destroyed themselves. Wine your little baby. Now we need to go under the... Under the car, we can get rid of that. We don't need that right now. To get the rod cap. Thankfully, all I have to do is remove the oil pan. Unfreaking believable. Which one of you is it? That one. Because that one's at 67. Double check the other ones just because they're all at a hundred. Uh, rocker arm, rod cap. Unbelievable, you would dare ask for a hundred percent. Your oil pan is busted. You have something to say about that? No. Screw you too. Whiny little prick.
drive shaft. Surprisingly, he didn't want the whatever you call it. What's this thing? The front drive axle? That's at 66% and he's like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, sure it is, man. I will not get over the fact that you all being a stingy prick. Come on. Your spark plugs were fine. Your rod cap was fine. I did not need to put more effort into fixing your engine just because you wanted it at a hundred percent. Okay. So now all we have to do is figure out what's going on with the suspension system. Finally. Uh, is there anything here that I can repair? What I need to keep? Probably not. I'm gonna check it anyways. The rod cap. I will repair that. And I'm gonna keep it, because screw him. How freaking dare you. I'm pissed at that. Spark plugs. I can't repair any of those, so they might as well go. Test track. Drive the wonky car. There's no oil in the engine. My bad. I forgot that I drained that. For obvious reasons. Those are not aligned. That's not my problem. It did take a while to stop, but that could be the tires. Hmm. Well, that's a whole lot of problems. Bunch of rubber bushings, wheel hub bearings, front sway bars, rear sway bars. Yikes. And I bet I still haven't found everything. Never mind, I've found everything. So it's all suspension stuff. Good. That way I don't have to deal with taking apart the engine yet again just to fix one tiny part. I am gonna have to take off all four tires though. Because, uh, everything's bad. I will take that wheel hub. Nothing else here. I know there's a bunch of rubber bushings, but I don't know which rubber bushings. Which unfortunately means I might have to get rid of all of them. That one's 
fine. Or at least it should be, but... As we found out, 70% is apparently not good enough for this dude. I didn't need to take that off. There's nothing going on there. Oh, you got two bolts that are not doing too hot. the rubber bushings. Oh, that one's not good. All the main rubber bushings are damaged. That should be everything on the car. So, two wheel hub bearings. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put it all back together now.
power drill is fast, but it could always be faster. Nothing's wrong with the car. Good. Fan frickin' tastic. Get out of here and don't ever come back. I only got 4,000k out of that. Seriously? After all I had to do to fix your car? That really pisses me off. Well. Uh, really need to get this Corvette done. But. That will just have to uh, be done another time. With that, that will be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, take care, and we'll see you in the next session. Finally, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've had to take that whole thing apart again. Absolute pain. That should be it. Yep. Alright, now get out of here, son. You bother me. Finally. <laughs>